Hi, Needham Knights. I'm Miss Griffin, the kinder and first grade teacher. Today, I'm going to be reading Dragon's Love Tacos 2, the sequel. So if you haven't heard my read aloud of Dragon's Love Tacos 1, make sure you do that before you read the sequel. The book is by Adam Rubin and Daniel Salmari. Hey, kid. Why are all your dragon friends crying? They look so sad. No more tacos. World in shock. Emergency supplies depleted. Oh my, we gotta do something about this. Listen to me, dragons. Don't freak out. Oh, no more ta tacos for the dragons. No wonder they're upset. Dragons love tacos. Remember that time we had an awesome taco party with dragons? There were so many tacos. Pants loads of tacos. Big tacos, little tacos, beef tacos, chicken tacos. And because a totally honest mistake. I'm not blaming anyone here. There are also some spicy tacos. Unfortunately, spicy salsa gives dragons the tumbly, tummy troubles. And when dragons get the tummy troubles, well, you know. But now, there are no more tacos. None. Nada. Nil. If only we could somehow go back in time to our delicious taco party. Before the spicy salsa, of course. We could say handfuls of tacos, plant them in the ground, and grow taco trees. So we never run out of tacos again. The dragons would be so happy. Well, I know we're not supposed to mess with it, but this does seem like the perfect opportunity to fire up that time machine in the garage. Just, just have a time machine. A time machine lets you travel through time, back to the past where you were an itty bitty baby, or forward to the future when you are grown to be an old man. Or in our case, back to the taco party full of tacos. You know what? Let's strap this into this gizmo and give it a whirl. Set the dial to taco party. Ready, set. Hey, that's you from before. Weird. Well, there's plenty of tacos here. Let's just grab some and head back before the dragons eat any spicy. Uh-oh. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh no, not again. Yikes. I sure hope this time machine still works. Give the dial a little twist. We have to go a little bit further back this time before the dragons eat the spicy salsa. Ready, set. Hmm. We may have gone too far back. <laughs> you can see the little caveman. I have gone too far back. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh boy, not again. Dragons never learn about the spicy salsa. This time machine has seen better days. Try some machine oil, that might do the trick. Wait a second, that's not machine oil. Machine oil brand salsa, extra super duper spicy. This may complicate our journey through the space time. Yoink. Dragons love diapers? That's not right, let's try again. I think their time machine's having some problems. Tacos love dragons. Weird, but closer. One more time. Zim. Dragons love tacos. That's it. Dragons, quick, grum some tacos and let's get out of here before it's too late. Crunch, 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 zim. We made it. Congratulations. <laughs> They're eating all the tacos. <laughs> Oh, come on. You saved one. Phew. We'll plant a tree and have tacos forever. The dragons will be so happy. After all, dragons love diapers. I mean tacos. Dragons love tacos. Heck, everybody loves tacos. <laughs> they got taco trees. I wish that was a real thing. The end. Another silly story. Remember, Read Across America is not just about Dr. Seuss books, even though those are wonderful books to read. Reading silly books and other books is also a wonderful thing. Miss Griffin loves her reading, and I hope you enjoyed Dragons Love Tacos 2, the sequel. Bye, Needham Knights.